Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. So as we started off yesterday, we covered about the new Worth It add-on for updates for it. I hope you guys are loving it all the same, but today we shall be talking about how do we print gold with alchemy. That being the case, without further ado, we're definitely going to need some gold, so let's do the gold for the day. So the gold for the day goes as follows, and that is at a healthy 236,508 gold. The things of note is 89 superior battle potions of agility for 20,548 gold. The next one is a superior battle potion of intellect, eight of those for 1,969 gold. Superior battle potion of agility, 22 for 5,079 gold. Unbridled fury potions for 57 for 7,585 gold. Some volatile water, 285 of that for 6,686 gold along with this 12 vast horizons and you get the point it's a load of alchemy supplies just like stacks of 20 endless fathoms 20 empowered proximities and they're all turning to be about 14,000 15,000 5,000 8,000 gold and yeah we've, we de definitely we did this all within a, a three hour period between five o'clock yesterday afternoon and eight o'clock yesterday afternoon so in three hours we made all of that yeah so that being the case let's get into how i exactly did it and what are the steps necessary to do it for yourself so without further ado let's pull in all of this gold 236,000 gold for the day pretty damn good and this is something you can do throughout most of the week um, just so you know and this is something that you could probably do if you set yourself up quite right so currently we are sat at 243,618 gold at this moment in time on the auction house if we jump into my auctions and I haven't updated it for a little bit. But what we've got at the moment is 16,000 gold worth of, well, nearly 17,000 gold worth of stuff. So we've got Ends Fathoms being sold at the moment, uh, the Glyph of Cracked Ice and Ghastly Goulash. And basically what I've been doing is just cancel scanning like a crazy man and then reposting. So obviously I've been under the cut, blah, 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 blah. And... Pretty much, I was having a few issues when it came to dealing with the Silas proc. Now the Silas proc, if you don't know, when it comes to alchemy, that is a 1.7 proc rate for your Silas Sphere of Transmutation. Now, in order to get this proc rate from when you're actually crafting any of the rank three potions or flasks, have to be rank three potions or craft or flasks, in order to actually get the proc on just without the, the actual Silas Orb. But with the Silas Orb actually activated, you are able to get more of those procs, if you get me right there. When you're actually crafting potions and flasks at rank three in BFA, you are have a chance of gaining a proc, which gives you like twos, fours, threes, of multiple potions instead of just crafting that one. Now what the Silas Sphere of Transmutation does is increase the chances of those procs actually happening. So that being the case, let's get into what we have to do in order to do this. So we're going to actually run through the TSM setup just real quickly. What I've done here is go into Alchemy Crafted and BFA crafted pots. Now in here I've got abyssal healing potions, coastal healing potions, all my greater flasks besides the one I don't have a rank three on as we'll be losing money, the light foot potion, the potion of empowered proximity, blah blah blah, unbridled fury, superior battle post, superior, superior. Basically any of them that I have rank threes on. Now I'm not gonna craft them at the moment until I have rank three on them. So just so you know, we're gonna 
we're going to have a chance of making a decent amount of gold with those brocks. So what we do now is we set up our operations to go with that. So that being the case, with operations, you will have to come down to crafting because we're going to be wanting to craft these. And what you're going to be wanting to do is just go to Alchemy Crafted Pots. And you can create the group just by pressing this plus button over here. So let's move it about there. And what I've done is I've set a minimum restock quantity. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you should know what a minimum and maximum restock quantities are. I've done it for 30 and 50. And at this moment in time, I would actually bump these numbers up to 100, but I was a little bit low on gold and I'm going to get into inscription. So there is a reason for that. But if you want to, then 100 usually does quite well. On last night's sales, I actually had to go remake a load more because I ran out of supply. Um, what you now have to do is we're not going to set a minimum profit but we are going to do a price settings override default craft value method. And that is 1.7 times by first brackets, DB min buyout, comma, DB market, close brackets, or close parentheses, whatever you want to call it. I just say brackets because it's easier. This actual crafting method was actually given to me by I am QQQing on my Discord. Me and him had a conversation about how to make gold with alchemy and what was the best way in which you can actually go about doing this. And basically he gave me his operation that works for him quite well. If you look on our mailbox openings every single day, you make quite a hell of a lot of gold. He, he makes quite a hell of a lot of gold through alchemy and I wanted to know how he was doing it. Basically, it is taking advantage of the of the Silas proc. So the Silas proc is 1.7, so it's taking that into consideration for the craft value method, and and then it cross references it with the DB min buyout and the DB market. Now, obviously, you're going to need to attach your alchemy crafted group towards the alchemy crafted pots just to make sure that you're going to be making your profit, and then we move over to auctioning. Now, for, all you have to do is go over to Alchemy for Silas. So I've made a personal one which is called Alchemy Silas Post instead of Alchemy Crafted because Alchemy Crafted is going to be like water breathing potions and all that stuff. So this one's going to be separate because it's going to factor in some extra little things for the Silas proc. Now, we'll go over, now going over to posting, or we're going to set our post cap to 100. Um, QQQing was actually mentioning that he does it on 40 because it's easier to save on the thing. But I prefer, but what I found for myself was I preferred to have it a lot higher, so to speak, um, because I, I preferred to have it a little bit higher on the post cap too. But it, it is a very good point. Do you post so many things of one item on the auction house uh, if you're going to be constantly getting undercut. And that is what happens with alchemy due to the high volatility and the buy rates of the actual pots, so to speak, especially on raid night like last night. Now, go down to this, and this is setting the minimum price, and that is crafting slash the Silas prop, which is 1.7. And then I'm going to times it by 1.01. .01. Now, when it comes to setting a minimum price, I... I have altered this. It used to be 1.06 and then I've brought it down to 1.01 .01 because I am actually producing the anchor weed for my Silas proc so I can afford to lose a little bit of gold to be a bit more competitive for my sales. So I've set myself up for posting at a little bit of a lower minimum than everyone else due to the fact that I can actually produce all of I can produce around about 60 anchor weed per day, equals to quite a lot per week, especially building it up for raid night. And aside with that, I can always do some farming as well and all of that jazz. So I've so I factored in my own method to be a bit more competitive on my min, min pricing. Now, setting the, the maximum price, just put it at a, a gold cap because it's never really gonna shoot up that much. And, Basically, what's actually going to go on here for the normal price is 
So instead of having the Cybus prop exactly, it is crafting divided by 1.7, then times that by two, and that gives you your normal pricing metric for the actual posting. So when you come over to your relisting, and we're gonna clear the queue right here, and we're just gonna press deselect all of these. I can always reselect these now, and it will come up with how many I need to do, and it will tell me how much profit I will be making on top of this. Now, this, this at this moment in time, when you actually bring it up on your crafting reports for actually crafting your alchemy stuff, it will say 105,000 gold invested for only a 10,417 gold profit. This crafting thing for in your profession tab for TSM doesn't actually factor in how much extra additional gold you will be making from the Silas proc. So this is how much profit you'll be making if you just crafted it without the proc. And obviously I'm going to craft with the proc. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to do a live gathering little session right now. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna run you through it. And this actually saves me because this saves me for doing it. This actually saves me for doing it later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to scanning. So we're going to scan all. And at the moment, all of the mats besides Winter's Kiss is actually going to be quite low. So they were all dropped down from 100%. So obviously Xenanthid, we're going to need 2100. So 2100, we'll buy the most expensive one first. Uh, 2100 Xenanthid. And then all we're gonna do is go down to Winter's Kiss and we're gonna get the 150 of that. We don't really need to worry all that much. And we'll go over to Siren's Pollen. How much do we need? That's 250. Now, obviously, I could always get the Ankweed for my daily crafts, but for me, I've already spent it this morning. So I've gotta wait for my cooldown for tomorrow, so we're gonna to have to buy a few just to subsidize this. So this is another 18,000 gold right there for that. But the more you're able to farm up uh, or produce using your transmutes of anchors, the more you can actually produce and be a bit more competitive with your postings. So say you can produce around about 250, for instance, anchor weed per week. Uh, that means that you have enough anchor weed to actually supply a 50 on 50 for producing your potions for the week. So when it comes to raid night, you aren't, you aren't actually paying for those anchor weeds to actually craft them. And with the procs, it's actually gonna equal you with more gold overall. So basically it's just a nice little way of reducing the cost plus and then timesing that by the proc. So we're pretty damn good, so to speak. So we'll just grab those river buzz just to finish this off. And we're gonna go straight to our mailbox. And obviously we're down to 140,759 gold. This is my liquid now. This is my liquid gold. I'm gonna get back into inscription with this. So what I'm gonna plan on doing to restock our supply, we've even still got vast horizons at a profit without the proc on the auction, uh, on TSM, so at the moment it's doing really well. And what we're gonna do is send over that. So in the actual night, we invested a quite about 230 odd thousand gold, and we've still got over half of our potions on the auction house. And, and basically all we're doing now is we're using the restock method to actually restock the potions that are missing. And then what we're left with is the remaining profit from last night, which was 140,000 gold. So now we've got 140,000 gold liquid to have a play around for whatever we damn want. But overall, I'm gonna send over 500 gold to Zathrash because I know he's got really low gold and I don't know if he's gonna need any little pots and that. So what we do now is once we've gathered all of that, we're going to log out and go into our lovely alchemist. Now this is the tricky part. This is something you're probably going to be wanting to do when you're make, wanting to print gold with alchemy. And this all depends on your proc. So you do not, and I repeat, do not craft your potions with the operations 
and all of that set up. Do not craft it when without your Silas proc. You will lose gold. Oh, and, and or even if it is still profitable, you're going to make a hell of a lot less gold. So what's actually going to go on now is we're going to gather up all of our different types of stuff from our mailbox. So we've gathered all of our recipes for restocking. What we're going to do is we're going to click our Silas Orb of Transmutation and pray it turns into my It's My Continuous Curing. So that's not the one that we're wanting. Now we've got to wait an hour for the next Silas proc. This is something that is kind of annoying, but this is why it's so profitable because it actually takes a while to actually get hold of the Silas. And what the one you're actually looking for is the Silas Sphere of Prosperity. Now, that one is the one that you have to use for the proc rate. And just so you don't actually get confused because I did this the first time I ever used it, um, you actually have to, before you start crafting, click the actual sphere afterwards by right clicking it and using the on use effect which will give you the chance of getting more procs otherwise you won't get the proc so you have to click it after you've transformed it into the prosperity and then you, you press the on use effect in order to get the proc and then you start crafting as fast as you bloody well can now, aside from all of that, that is pretty much all we're going to have to do now. We have to wait 59 minutes for the proc to come off and see if we can get the prosperity again. When it comes to selective crafting times, I would recommend actually restocking and recrafting early hours of the morning. Usually that's when a lot of farmers tend to post a load of their stuff from the night before. And also that is... And also it gives you a chance in order to get your prosperity proc for the following evening. Now, aside from that, if you are crafting on that day and you are leaving it quite late, you are risking the chance of not getting that prox prosperity proc. So, it's, so what I'm trying to say is it's better to stock up before like raid night, so Wednesdays or Thursdays and Fridays are your primary days. Then you've got your weekend, which is your secondary phase. So your main days that you should be avidly posting is Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. So whatever day, three days of the raid week you're actually doing, then just cancel scan like a king and then, and then post like a crazy man. Uh, basically, it's tends to be quite aggressive as of the last night. It was just aggressive council scanning. I was like council scanning every three minutes. Um, this may not be the case on your realm, but it is good to have like a timer to try and get a nice average for yourself like every five minutes or every 10 minutes or something along those lines. But it is quite addictive to actually do. So what I'm going to say is here, if you want to make a lot of gold within alchemy you should have these key factors in order to do it number one you're going to create flasks and potions number two you have to factor in the silas proc and have the silas sphere of transmutation and number three prepare your preparation which is making sure you are prepared and fully stocked for the evening times of raid nights this is usually the times between 5 and 8 o'clock in the afternoon, which I found to be the most, where I found there was the most buys, so to speak. Now, aside from that, guys, that is all I have to say for the day. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you tomorrow.